All right, this week we made this human hamster wheel. You never know when you're going to need one of these, so stick around. I'm going to show you how we did it. Hi, my name is Bob, and I love my two-car garage. bought eight full sheets of plywood to make this three quarter inch plywood we probably could have bought six sheets of three quarter inch and two sheets of five eighths but it took a lot of wood to make this thing we started off by taking four sheets of plywood and screwing them down on top of each other and edge to edge we used a large router on the end of a piece of plywood as sort of a compass to cut these circles. It took us about four passes to get through uh, two layers of plywood. And we had to repeat that process two times. Cut the outside diameter 96 inches and the inside diameter 80 inches. The end result was perfect circles for our wheels. At that point, we took our arches or our circles and we lam laminated them together with just yellow glue and staples. We put two by fours about every two feet apart and we screwed it from the outside in with some deck screws. You can't see those screws right now because it's behind this second layer. But they're there. And once we had our circles together, we were ready to put in our planks. Now we cut the planks out of the plywood that we had left over from the inside here. These are five inches wide. We just cut a bunch of them and tried to figure out how many we would need. And we cut too many, but that was all right. And uh, we made that out of three quarter inch plywood because it had to be nice and strong. That's where we're gonna walk. Now getting this circle together, or this, this wheel together, was the easy part. And at that point, we couldn't resist just having a little fun with it. Here he goes. He's going for the serious stuff here. Ooh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Whee! So we actually made this, the stand right here these sides out of the inside of the circle of those two arches so we're going to use some two and a half inch deck screws to put these little guys in place our little horizontal stabilizers we're calling them just made that name up screwed on a couple of two by fours just to give this all thread a little more stability so it wouldn't bend on the bottom here we put three braces that are going to hold this thing nice and stable and on the top we're going to do two more closer to the axle. <laughs> support here, we made a couple of little uh, support braces that are going to kind of cradle the, the spacer that it's going to go down the middle because this has a lot of weight on it. So this is the plan for our roller system. We got three eighths all thread going all the way through. We got washer, wheel from a caster, wheel from a caster, washer. And then we cut this piece of, I think it's stainless steel tubing. It's gonna go right here in the middle to space it out. And then washer, wheel, wheel, washer, out the other side. actually use some extra thin washers to get just the right clearance between the wheel and the spacer. We didn't want that wheel to wobble because if it wobbled we were afraid that it would wear out prematurely and just wouldn't spin as well. And that is some precision work right there. All right, so here we have it, our human hamster wheel, and uh, it works great. However, 
it's hard to stop. So we're going to have to figure out some kind of rail or something because <laughs> the only way I can stop. So we're thinking that you almost could just go like this. But, whoa, I think we're going to put a bar right across here. Safety first. <laughs> like this is safe. <laughs> so we found these little things right here. Little pipe flange. A little bit of uh, about a five inch pipe on there. And we're going to mount these guys right there. This is a little sharp so we're going to want to wrap that with something. Maybe even put bicycle grips on here. And uh, so you don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Guess you could hurt yourself anyway. But friend Richard trying it out. Here we go. Go, Rich. Go. Yeah. <laughs> this is my friend Keith. He is going to give it a try. Here he goes. <laughs> Works great. Everybody ought to have one of these. And when the thing was all done, just for fun, we came back and added some fake electrical stuff. None of this stuff works, it's just for looks. And some signs. Gives it the cool factor, and sometimes the cool factor is important. Well, this was a really fun project. Now, I want to leave you with this proverb that says, A good name is more desirable than riches, and to be esteemed is better than silver and gold. The rich and the poor have this in common. The Lord is the maker of them all. What does that mean to you and me? No one else can be you. Don't forget to like and subscribe.